Have you, are you familiar with this machine? Yourself? No, can you tell me a little bit about it? Well basically it uses an x-ray source, it's a safe x-ray source, it's not one you need a control for. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you put the sample over this area. Yeah. yeah. You run the program on there. Yeah. The, the, the instructions are all I wasn't the operator, but I've got a basic overview of it. Okay. It was then it was then when you set the program running, that would drop down. Yeah. It would then um, expose it to the X-ray source, and it it can then uh, it apparently vaporizes. Yeah. A very very minute amount of the surface. Okay. Of the product you tested. Right. And then it it can analyze that by it can separate it out the atomic weights of it. Yeah. And by atomic weights, it can then work out what elements are there. Okay. Okay. It then gives you a. Uh, a printout which tells you in parts per million mm -hmm. or percentage, depending what you, what you what curve you're running on. Yeah. What uh, sort of content is in there in terms of heavy metals? Okay, cadmium. Um, what sort of heavy metals would you be looking cadmium, for? Cadmium, mercury, lead. Yeah. Uh, chromium. Chromium. And uh, brominated flame retardants are the things we're looking for maybe here. Okay. PBB, PBB. And this is down to parts per billion, is it? Parts per million. PPM, right. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and these are reference sources, did you mention? Yeah, they were, those are the calibrated. Yeah. yeah. So you've got the cadmium. So obviously, if you're looking for different substances, yeah. you need different references. Okay. Okay. But that you have to set up ca uh, calibration curves mm -hmm. of a substance that you're looking for. Okay. okay. So in here, you'll find there's a range. Yeah. Yeah. So there's different levels, different PPM, so you can actually set up oh, yeah. the curve, yeah? Okay. So that's to get the more accurate results. Right. Okay. And then, and the other, and the other sample is? That's aluminium. Aluminium, yeah. yeah. And lead. And lead. Okay. If you've never used one, I suggest you get training. <laughs> right. It's not the sort of thing you're going to just pick up and do straight off and fully understand. Okay. I think it's something that you need Should to get some to, yeah, to yeah. come in and give you a bit of training. Got the C marking on it, which is good. Yeah, and it's. Yeah. And you, you reckon you probably had it for about four years ago or thereabouts, something like that. Well, five years perhaps. I can't remember when it came in, to be honest with you, I'm surprised it's as long as five years, it doesn't seem like that. Can we just bring the lid down on it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's lovely. And because there's no nitrogen, it will come up with an error message, of is that course, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. It won't do anything while it's not 